Hello everyone, today we are back once again in Three Kingdoms, The Last Warlord. We've seen what has changed in this game. Uh, first off here you can see that there's a notice now. Whenever the game updates you'll be seeing stuff going on there. Um, last time since I've played this there's now a mobile version of it. I am playing the PC version of it, but I think that's really cool how uh, they have the mobile integration there too. Uh, you can sit back, relax, um, and uh, enjoy the game. So from here we can see most of the stuff here with settings is going to be very much the same. Yeah, exit, edit, you want to create a uh, new scenario, stuff like that. Um, still there before achievements, um, you can kind of see you know what uh I, th I believe this was here last time what all it's looking for i don't think yeah there's anything really out of here these are kind of just the base ones like complete this scenario this scenario this scenario in terms of uh new scenarios uh, i don't believe we actually have one we have dungeons rise warlords battle of glandu uh the three visits three main powers ruled the land Brotherhood and Heroes Reunion. I don't know why they have this icon here. I don't know this is like a uh, what if scenarios potentially. So, but you get a lot of gameplay out of just even like the early scenario here. Um, I was doing a Dong Zhuo thing, um, but so much has changed from the game from before. So I've decided to go back with uh, Sun Jian here. And you guys can see we made it to 8204. Keep in mind, he should be dead by now. And I believe even um, Sun Se should be deceased by now. Um, we're going to see, most notably, some differences with how the um, um, combat is done now. Um, you can see the map is very much the same, as far as I can tell. I don't like there's any real uh, differences here for let's just take it you know piece by piece so develop is still the same transport research all of that uh, college here is different if you guys um, haven't seen this before this is essentially people that are growing up here you can see some people you know, have the child pictures and some don't that still needs to be done there and give them training. I noticed that the uh, special training actually appears more often, which is nice. And this is definitely um, very useful because long term you'll need, uh, you know, officers with great stats. So, and what better way to uh, to bring in them than from your force and their family and kin and whatnot? Um, so we'll take it to personnel. Uh, all of this should be the same. Employ, search, move. Employ here. I notice it's been harder actually to employ people. I don't know about for you guys, but move, award, appoint, all that is the same here. Giving them items, uh, appointing people, or prefects, counselors, ranks, and captains. Now, management here, you guys might notice a little bit different. Um, with the confiscating items, banishing, remove, releasing, and executing all of those. Military is still all the same. Diplomacy is still all the same. Strategy is still the same. Sovereign is different though. Uh, so you can see we can move the capital city here. We can appoint policies to our cities. Those are there from before. Assign your successor, your heir. Um, also, we have merchants. You can now um always have a merchant in the city which is really good these aren't the ones you can sell food to though i know there's um a bit of a i guess exploit essentially you know get a bunch of food just sell it and get your gold back there gold hasn't really been a problem for me at all um honestly you know, even if i've gone around and bought a whole bunch of items giving them out to people um fate is new so this is kind of having the um you know sworn oath between uh, the three, not blood brothers, but essentially Guan, Yu, Zheng, Fei, and Liu Bei. Uh, that is where this all comes in. So you would say, you know, we're going to have uh, Liu Jian. That's a notable name there. We'll have uh, Sun Yi and Zhao Yun. And then we'll give them alcohol here. We'll give them level 8 Jiao Zi. And uh, you can see it will say what it will increase from the attributes confirm here. And boom. So even though that still has the um, Chinese 
text there, you can see that they are sworn siblings. If we go here to our officer list, we go to Sun Yi, I believe that was a person. Yeah, and you can see sworn siblings with the relations. Uh, next off in the fate, we can see where marriage is. So if we go here and we give someone, uh, let's do, I'm not sure who, um, we'll just keep it, keep it kind of in family with Sun, Sun He, Sun Fu, I don't know which one we do, let's do Sun, Sun He, and uh, let's not do him, he looks kind of, kind of angry, uh, Sun Lang, we'll do this dude, actually let's kind of see, preferences, individual, yeah, Sun Lang, 17, and let's see, let's check the age, it's here, Bu Lian Shi. We can have these two get married off here, have some jewelry. And I believe the higher the jewelry, the uh, the better the stats. So if we do like something, the level two jade, one one, yeah, you can see compared to the Hipu pearl, um, increasing both their charm and their farming ability there. So confirm there and they get married. Now in terms of actually creating a, um, child i'm not i'm not certain on that part there i know that there is an item that you can request um so if you do summon here you can see merchant personage seer sword master artisan doctor i know with merchant there should be an item that you can use to have them bear a child so we're going to bring in a doctor um i wonder if i can bring in kind of herb boy i don't know if it'll let me so we'll just do those this layout here is still pretty much the same, but the one thing that you will notice, oh, sorry, one last thing I forgot to mention with Sovereign is Emperor. So the Emperor is here. Now I haven't played that far into it to see if you can come become Emperor yourself or someone else's and you have to give like tribute to Sao Sao or something crazy, uh, but you can give tributes and give him gold, give him presents. Um, so we'll give him this and it'll make him really happy you'll pick an officer and depending on their diplomacy skill is how much of a boost you'll essentially get i'm not going to give him that um so you know thank you for helping giving the contribution stopping the yellow turban rebels and all that um you go to reward here you can see reputation infamy and rank infamy is how well you're known and not really liked essentially uh reputation is how well you're known um i should have said infamy is how well you're not liked sorry for any confusions there um, so you can increase your reputation, decrease your infamy. It is really easy to get infamy. I will fair warn you there. Uh, rank promotion. You can move yourself up and you get bonuses here. Um, R pay. I think it's reputation pay. Uh, cities required. The amount of cities you need to own. Contribution required. Um, which could take a bit to get, honestly. But as you're grinding through, if you do this every turn, you'll easily become you know uh duke or king so we take it back here we can see tavern now if people are here we can actually talk to them we can play like a little card game with them uh, we can ask around for rumors uh see there's nobody here at the officer list these are usually gonna be just free officers uh, we can have a little banquet increase in our report our loyalty so we'll do this here click everybody boom there's a little thing that plays. Chen Lin carried his liquor like a gentleman, even if he had been drinking a lot. Sun Ji held him in high esteem. Their intimacy increased. Uh, sword, sword play, uh, intimacy, loyalty. So you can keep on moving down. So, <laughs> someone got wounded here. So, it's pretty cool. I like this a lot. It's really nice. Um, you know, increasing loyalty. Uh, even though we had that event where someone got injured. Essentially, so good that I did call the doctor there. Uh, we're taking up here force info is still the same One thing that you will notice here is if we go to officer something that I've been waiting for for a long time Because I don't I, I don't know everybody. I, I don't know everyone like Gan Ning. I know him He's the pirate dude. He's pretty bad. You know what? So if we go into his bio here in his early years He was a thief on the Yangji River and Larry became a famous general of Wu his story plundering Sao Sao's camp with only a hundred cavalry is famous So even though yeah, there's still you know, like there's space there, or, you know, it's kind of um 
kind of off maybe with uh, the wording or grammar. It's it's still really good, I will say, to have just a little bit of context that will eventually be added on more with the novel and other. Um, but as far as I know, almost uh, most people have something, whether it's historical or novel, you can see. Um, so, Bu Vian Shi, the one that we had, favorite concubine of Sun Xuan, the king of Wu, she gave birth to two daughters. Um, which we will see about that, because now she's with Shen Ling. So, um, so, uh, you can see everything there for basic info. Oh, that's pretty much still the same. Close out there. Uh, this is still the same for city info. So which one you're making expenses, stuff there, officer list for everyone who's in the city currently. Uh, you can upgrade the city from before. These will be your pop-ups to say, hey, you have people who can do these jobs. Infamy, you can see here, reputation, officers, and free. Um, give you some more information here. I don't remember if this layout was this uh, red, honestly, before. I don't know if it changes by person. I'll have to try that out. But I have been enjoying this uh, save for, I think it started in 190 with Dong Zhuo. Uh, so to take it to 204, and Sun Jian is still alive. Now, he does die um, from battle. So that is a thing where, you know, since I didn't have that battle against uh, Leo Biao, I think. Don't quote me on that one. I, th I think that's the one uh, where he gets killed. But you can see th where things get different here. All right. Uh, next up is, uh, I think we're just going just gonna to start playing for a little bit. You can see help, uh, hide the UI task list here. See what people are up to. And task reports. So. We're going to continue, and we're going to hope that we get into a battle, or uh, we might just go straight after um, Xi Ji, uh, I think who is to our left, who is that red there. Let's bump this up to three times speed right here. Let's keep on moving. So we got Trade Cavern coming in. Uh, looks like we have uh, something there. Let's see what do you got for me a trade caravan buy some items uh, might be good there or this yeah like I said you can as, as long as you get gold you can you can spend it um, so we'll just keep on going through buying some good stuff charm is always great to have of course all the alcohol for making more sworn siblings um, I don't do I don't go too crazy with making sworn siblings but is something you can do also these ores here and like you might have seen um, like wood if we go back to our merchant here you can see ox tendon stuff like that now uh, at the where is it there will be a person that um, pops up where he'll be like you want me to make you a weapon uh, I believe we go to summon he is the swords master artisan uh, I think them, those are the ones that will, they will change it up, and uh, if you have like an item or so many materials, you can create weapons. Uh, so Leo Biao wants me to ransom off some people. We're going to say no, I so for some reason I keep on getting just gold, uh, not gold, I keep on getting food, but not gold or anything else. So that's why I keep on saying no, because I have tons of food, so I'm not going to worry about them. Um, you can see Dong Zhuo is actually not expanded that much. I believe, hopefully, that's Ma Tang right up there. Um, I'm unsure of who is to my left. Oh, someone escaped. Um, thanks for the medicine. Recruit. Should actually be recruiting here because I only. Yeah, I have, actually I have a good bit of troops. So we're going to recruit just a little bit more. Let's do light infantry. Let's see, cavalry. Let's do cavalry, actually. Uh, anyone around here? Nothing really. I think this is uh, Leo Biao above. Uh, maybe Leo Bay up here in Sao Sao. Mm, Yun Xiao, I think. I'm not sure, honestly. Let's see. I think Dong Zhuo is still around. We'll, we'll check it out real quick for uh, forces. So we have. Yun Xiao, Liu Bei, um, 
Shane Yan, Leo Yu, Gong Zhang Zhan, Gong Zhang Lu, Kong Ron, Leo Di, uh, Sasao, Tao Kuan, Dang Zhu, still alive, still kicking. Ma Tang, all these guys. Yeah. Let's see if Dang Zhu still has. Uh, still got Lu Bu. The legendary first general of the Three Kingdoms, a powerful chief in the late Han Dynasty. Famous for valority and known as the Flying General, he came under attack by the combined forces of Sao Sao and Liu Bei, resulting in his defeat at the Battle of GIP. He was captured and executed on Sao Sao's orders. Um, so something interesting about this game, if this is your first time seeing it, you might see, you know, Lu Ling Kui or Lu Ling Ju from... Um, the uh, Dynasty Warriors games, or Romance of the Three Kingdoms. What you might not have known is like his other uh, children, like Lu Wu or Lu Lu. Um, yes, those are those are real names. I'm not making them up. So, I, I believe, don't maybe I should, I should actually don't quote me on that one. Um, essentially, because I can't look at their bios right now. But this game does go way more in depth with adding in um, characters you might not have known. You know, for instance, I think one of the weird things was like uh, Leo Bay's uh, school teacher. You know, one, like one of those guys was in here or something, uh, or like his uh, uncle or a nephew or something. Like, like people you don't hear as much about when the spotlight's mostly on Lu Bu, and then like there's like a little spotlight on like his daughter there, but then it kind of is like, well, what happened to her? So there she is, Lu Bu's daughter. Just, just very short, very short, simple to the point. Lubu's daughter. <laughs> so, uh, I believe this is now the time we're gonna go out and we're gonna attack somebody, and uh, that'll give you pretty much a bit overview of everything going on here um, since these last couple updates. So, and of course, if you want more gameplay, comment down below and all that. I'll we'll definitely you know bring more of that to the table for you guys uh, i enjoy playing this game on my uh, spare time i think we'll go probably straight out on with the Xinjiang's um 36 000. so we got the last force of shiji confirm and i'm feeling pretty confident to do, 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 do. uh might get reinforcements from here. Uh, I don't know. I think I can do it. I'm pretty, pretty confident, but I don't want to be overconfident. You know what I mean, guys? So maybe, uh, maybe have Soon Say help me out a bit. I don't know. Now let's just go straight for it. Give a person. Oh well, yeah, I can't do that. All right. So we're going out to battle now. So of course this game is a turn based. That's what's going on there. It actually take me a little bit to get over there to him. So. Anything going on here? Anybody? Recruits can't. Everyone's pretty much out and about. Keep on moving through. Got some items. All right, here we go. Someone escaped. It's all right. Wait for all the turns to go by. So this is the uh, the different battles right here. Um, before you were clicking, moving people, clicking, moving people. Uh, here it's it's different. Um, I like it personally because there's formations you can set up. Um, so yeah, uh, you can. Recon the formations that will cost gold so we can see he's doing something like right here, which is the uh, Where is it? Is it the fish scale? 
go back here. So we're just gonna keep it to auto because I'm I'm not great. <laughs> I'm just I'm not great at it. It's uh, a bit here and there, uh, and plus it's enjoyable to kind of like be like, oh, I wonder if I'm gonna make it out of this battle or not. So we're we're doing so far so good. I don't want to jinx this yet. Um, soon she is taking a bit of a hit there from those ballistics, um, and the, uh, the catapults. So, it looks like we're going to be able to, uh, wipe out, um, Shamo K, uh, pretty easily. And then the next one, I believe, is that, uh, Shihui, uh, Shiji is going to be the hardest one to take out. She's Z. Um, we did actually execute some of his family, so he really doesn't like us, and now this will kind of put him over the edge for really not liking us here. So, at least you don't have to worry about if any of our people get captured that he'll execute them. So, because he's, he's very uh, easy to beat, he uh, <laughs> doesn't really stand much of a chance, especially this is his last little, um, last little leg against us. So soon she hopefully she doesn't get taken out. She's gonna, you know, just kind of just get out of there. You know, she's getting hit. That might be it for her. Yep. So it's gonna be uh, the three on two battle here. He needs to move back and kind of just take out Zhang Ren. Got rid of him there. Now it's pretty much Xi Ji all by himself versus Sun Jian, Sun Hao, and Chen Lin. So they are getting close to those. Uh, ballistics and catapults so yeah they're just ripping right through them so the turn the, the turns on top where it says 11 that is by the days so you can kind of see like how close you're going to be if you look in the bottom right um through the opacity there you can see you know how close we are to actually having to take your turn again which is nice you know be able to take your turn while battles going on all right we're going to enter on through here. And there we go. And with that, we have uh, wiped off Xi Ji's forces. Uh, I don't know if that means we captured him or not, but... And someone escaped. That's alright. Establish some ministers here. There we go. That is the one annoying part. I wish that college was set up. Um, I really honestly wish it was set up through, you know, the entirety of your force, not just, you know, this little um, city right here that uh, becomes your capital. So I understand why they do it. Personally, not a fan of it. Spying is still the same as you see here. Um, don't have anyone available because I have to move some people in. Uh, typically, you want to have the bulk of your force in your capital i kind of jump around very frequently if i do that you know, like, some people here some people there as you can see we have four people here so, or uh, actually seven people here because i think i'm still in Ling Ling. so but uh that is gonna do it there next time we uh hop back in here hopefully we can wipe off um lu dai's forces and then move more here because I want all of the southern portion. I really want to see if Sao Sao and Liu Bei will kind of just duke it out amongst themselves and Dong Zhuo uh, as we sweep up north. Um, in terms of diplomacy, I haven't really gotten buddy buddies with anybody, so I don't know how much time I want to waste with any buddy buddies. I might start doing that for a bit. So, and plus, I want to honestly see Sun Jian uh, fall at some point. Like, I know. Um, he's doing pretty good right now, 48 years old, and he could probably last a lot longer. But I also want to see like just what will happen. I want to see some crazy stuff go down. Um, but that's going to do it here for Three Kingdoms, The Last Warlord. If you want to check out the game for yourself, I highly recommend it too. Um, the game is only $16.99. Might be a weird price for some people. Uh, so yeah, about $17. So, but it's definitely worth the price. You're helping out a very um, small dev company in China, and especially with translations being this fast. It's, it's going great, in my opinion, and mobile support. And uh, they are on holiday currently as of this recording, so they'll be out for about a week. Um, and then they'll come back and start uh, doing updates. 
for the most part, I've seen updates be about weekly, which is the best part. Um, but you really see at the end of the month, like at you know the monthly updates are just the big ones that's changing stuff. Um, of course, they're always like adding pictures and new characters and stuff like that. So I really can't wait to see what they're gonna do next. Other than that, everybody, I uh, hope you're enjoying the Three Kingdoms craze going on right now. I've been a big fan of this time period for just since my childhood and to see uh getting a lot of love and a lot of showcase and spotlight uh it's, it's great so that everyone keep it safe and until next time peace out